Hunter Jean, my love, when I first saw you, I had no idea that you were going to become my entire world. Sitting in math class all those years ago, I didn't know that the boy across the room would become my best friend, partner in crime, and soulmate. Although we didn't experience love at first sight, we experienced something so much greater. With each call, each coffee meeting for writing cases, and each drive just to talk, we were falling more and more in love with each other and didn't know it. You were the one who made me believe in love, in marriage, in people who were just meant to be. Before you, I thought that I had a great plan for my life. However, for once I'm overjoyed to admit that I was wrong. You are the greatest man I've ever met. I love you in mind, I love you in body, and I love you in spirit. I wouldn't want to go on this adventure called life with anyone else. You never fail to make me laugh and smile, and every moment with you is a blessing. I want you to know that today I dedicate myself to loving you, not just for the rest of our lives, but for eternity. I promise to always work to strengthen us through good times and bad. There's nothing I'm looking forward to more than embarking on this new chapter of life with you. I love you, Hunter. I loved you then, I love you now, and I will love you always. You, my beautiful bride, are my best friend, my confidant, and my greatest gift from God. You are the love of my life and someone who always makes me happier the more I spend time with. I never knew I could be this happy. Kylie, I never thought I could spend so much time with someone and feel so content. I love your adventurous spirit because you can turn the simplest of activities and tasks into an exciting experience. You acknowledge my strengths and accept my faults, and you make me want to be a better person every day. I love you, Kylie, and I know that God has ordained this love. Because of this, I desire to be your husband. Through the pressures of the present and the uncertainties of the future, I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to love, guide, and protect you as, God, as Christ does his church, and as long as we both are alive. According to Ephesians 5, and with his enabling power, I promise to endeavor to show you the same kind of love as Christ showed the church when he died for her, and to love you as part of myself, because in his sight, we shall be one. I take you as you are now, tomorrow, and for eternity to come to be my wife. Put you before